their cheerful singing may belie their emotions, but make no mistake, the economic freedom fighters are angry. We wanted that assurance that he's going to address the issue of the free the daily. So we never wanted to give him a chance to proceed because he's going to tell us more lies. Their insistence on getting the Premier to address the Frieda dairy issue had gotten them kicked out of the state of the province address just minutes earlier. The Frieda dairy project has long been a contentious issue for the Premier. Two consecutive finance ministers have ruled that the project be criminally investigated as it violated several financial management laws. Mahashule has thus far managed to avoid these investigations. There's nothing better that he can listen. So we wanted him to commit that he's going to address the very same issues that has to do with corruption. There is the issue. You know the website saga and all of that. All of these interventions that are coming from the National Treasury, this man has been avoiding all of those things. So it can't be that we give him respect to listen to more lies. According to those with inside knowledge of the project, the company behind it, Estina, is tied to the controversial Gupta family. And also some others closer to the Premier himself. Even though the intervention was made by the uh, National Treasury, still Premier insisted to continue because he wanted to enrich his son, Tepiso Mahashul and Judu Zuma because they are part of the very same uh, shenanigans that are happening in terms of the dairy farm. The Premier barely missed a beat after the disruption, simply continuing his address with a warning that voters should avoid voting for unruly people like the EFF in future. Orkutsia for OFM News, Bloemfontein.